Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that American farmers harvest over 6.2 billion pounds of sweet corn every year? Sweet corn isn't just a nutritious food, it's also bursting with fresh, sweet flavor, making it the perfect choice for family meals. Join us as we explore the amazing journey from the vast cornfields, where those golden corn cobs are carefully harvested by hardworking farmers and the help of modern machinery. After harvesting, the corn is sent to advanced processing plants, where it's turned into familiar products like fresh corn, canned corn, and of course, delicious buttery popcorn, a snack you can't go without during movie nights or family get-togethers. Now, let's dive into the colorful and sweet world of sweet corn. Let's get started. On the vast, sprawling fields of sweet corn, turning them into the familiar products we know and love requires a detailed and careful process. Typically, American farmers spend about 60 to 100 days growing the corn until it flowers and the cobs begin to form. When the corn reaches the perfect level of ripeness, it's time for harvesting. Harvesting hundreds of millions of pounds of corn every year is no small task. To get this done quickly and efficiently, American farmers use high-tech harvesting machines designed to optimize every step of the process. First, let's talk about the specialized harvesting machines designed to cut and separate the cobs efficiently. These machines are equipped with sharp blades that can quickly and accurately cut close to the base of the plants. After cutting, the stalks are removed and the corn cobs are separated right on the spot. The cobs are then transferred onto a soft conveyor belt, which gently moves them to a large bin on a truck running parallel to the machine. This truck moves alongside the harvester, allowing the cobs to be transferred directly from the field to the truck without stopping. This process works especially well on fields near collection areas, where trucks can easily swap out once a bin is full. In addition, on some large fields, there are even more advanced machines equipped with large bins directly on the harvester itself to increase flexibility. They work similarly to the previous machines, but after cutting, the corn cobs are separated and transferred directly into the bin on the machine itself. This allows the harvester to operate independently, making it perfect for areas where a truck isn't immediately nearby. When the bin is full, the machine stops to unload the corn into a waiting truck beside it. This process is quick ensuring the harvester can get back to work without significant interruptions, maximizing overall productivity. While it has to stop briefly to unload, the biggest advantage of this type of machine is its ability to work flexibly without relying on a truck moving alongside it. So using modern machinery hasn't just changed how American farmers harvest sweet corn. It's also brought a revolution to agriculture, improving efficiency and the quality of production. With the ability to cut close to the base, separate the cobs, and transport the corn smoothly, harvesting machines have optimized the process, significantly reducing the need for manual labor. Plus, the machines ensure each cob is handled carefully, keeping it fresh and high quality from the field to the processing plant. This not only boosts productivity, but also shortens harvest time, especially during busy seasons. Furthermore, Modern machinery is perfect for large-scale farming, allowing farmers to focus on managing and improving other parts of production. In addition to using modern machinery, some areas still see American farmers harvesting sweet corn by hand. They walk along the rows of corn, carefully picking each ripe, golden cob and placing them on a conveyor belt supported by machines. This system gently moves the cobs into pre-prepared cardboard boxes, making sure they are neatly organized and well protected from damage. After the sweet corn is harvested from the fields, it's quickly transported to the processing plant to ensure its freshness. 
Here, the corn goes through a careful and precise processing procedure to ensure the highest quality products are delivered to consumers around the world. When the corn arrives at the processing plant, each ear is moved along a conveyor belt to an automatic husking machine which removes the outer husks and corn silks. At the same time, the corn is washed with water or steamed to clean off dirt and impurities. Once the corn is cleaned, it is carefully inspected to ensure it meets quality standards before moving on to the packaging stage. The corn that meets the standards is neatly arranged into plastic trays or vacuum-sealed bags to preserve its freshness. Then, it is labeled, packed into boxes, and ready to be distributed to supermarkets or stores around the world. After the fresh corn is packaged and stored, some of it is sent to the processing line to make canned corn. Here, the corn goes through specialized machines that separate the kernels from the cob, ensuring that the kernels are removed whole without breaking or damaging them. This process is done with great precision to maintain the quality of each kernel. After separation, the kernels are thoroughly washed to remove any dirt, impurities, and leftover bits from the harvest and cleaning stages. This ensures the corn meets food safety standards. Next, the corn is briefly boiled in hot water. This step not only helps preserve its freshness, but also enhances the natural crisp sweetness of the kernels. After blanching, the corn is rapidly cooled using a hydro-cooling method, either submerging it in cold water or misting it with chilled water to prevent further cooking and preserve its crisp texture and bright color. This sudden drop in temperature slows enzymatic activity and inhibits bacterial growth, thereby improving food safety and extending shelf life. After the corn is boiled, the kernels are placed into sterilized cans to ensure cleanliness before the corn is added. The cans are then filled with corn and either salt water or syrup, depending on the final product the factory aims to create. Once sealed, the cans go through a high temperature sterilization process to kill any bacteria or germs that might be present, while also extending the shelf life of the product without compromising the corn's natural flavor and nutritional value. After sterilization, the cans are labeled with product details and necessary information then packed into boxes for shipping. These boxes of canned corn are sent to stores and supermarkets, ready for consumers to enjoy a convenient, delicious, and nutritious addition to their everyday meals. In addition to being canned, corn is also turned into popcorn, an incredibly popular snack. The popcorn production process starts with selecting high-quality kernels and removing any that don't meet the standards. The corn is then sent to a popcorn machine, where the kernels are heated to a high temperature, creating pressure inside and causing them to pop. Once popped, the popcorn is mixed with seasonings including salt, butter, or other flavorings depending on the product. This mixing step ensures even distribution of seasonings, creating a consistently flavorful snack. Afterwards, the popcorn may be coated with caramel, chocolate, or chili, resulting in a shimmering color that appeals to a variety of consumer tastes. After cooling, the popcorn is packaged into bags or boxes, ready to be distributed, offering a delicious and crunchy snack for consumers. In addition to processing corn into consumer products, some corn is harvested to be used as seeds. Harvesting corn for seeds requires careful attention to timing and quality to ensure the best seeds for future crops. Corn seeds are harvested when the cobs are fully ripe, with dry husks and evenly colored kernels. The selected cobs are carefully inspected to make sure they show no signs of disease or damage. At this stage, American farmers use the most advanced machinery to harvest the corn, making the process fast and precise, while reducing the need for manual labor. 
After harvest, corn intended for seed is sent to a seed processing plant. First, the corn is transported to a husking machine, where the ears are carefully handled before moving on to the kernel separation stage. There, the corn runs through specialized machines that detach the kernels from the cobs, ensuring they remain intact and undamaged. The seeds are then cleaned to eliminate any impurities, empty kernels, or substandard seeds. Finally, they are dried at the proper temperature and humidity to ensure good germination. After being processed, the seeds are sorted by size and quality to ensure that only the highest quality seeds are treated with plant protection chemicals to prevent mold and pests. These treatments are safe, maintain the seeds' ability to germinate, and have a distinctive color for easy identification. Finally, the corn seeds are packaged in specialized bags with clear labels showing the variety, production date, and other necessary information. The seeds are stored in cool or dry conditions, ready to be distributed to the market or farms for the next growing season. Once the corn seeds have been packaged and are ready for the new season, farmers begin by preparing the land. In late spring, when soil temperatures reach about 50 degrees Favhers, they use modern plowing machines to loosen the soil, improving its aeration and drainage. Next, automated seeders place the seeds at the right spacing and depth, ensuring healthy germination. An automated irrigation system then maintains consistent moisture levels, allowing the seedlings to thrive. As the corn grows, regular tilling, weeding, and the use of high-tech sprayers help control pests without harming crop yields. So, now you have a full view of how farmers harvest and process billions of pounds of sweet corn every year. This is a perfect example of how modern technology works hand-in-hand -hand with the skill and dedication of farmers. Thanks for joining me on this amazing journey. If you have any questions or thoughts to share, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss any interesting stories about the world of farming. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.